All right, thank you for staying with us. This is um, uh, Sports Tonight. And uh, if you just joined us, you've missed out on a whole lot. Uh, but not to worry, we still have a lot uh, packed into the remaining part of the show for you. And um, of course, I told you that uh, we'll be having a change. Uh, Cosmos Tukwemeka has joined us now. Uh, the Dotun Agumbiari has uh, uh, left us, uh, but Yemi Adibayo is still very much around. Uh, Cosmos, good to have you um, um, with us um, on, on Sports Tonight. Let me just quickly do this mm -hmm. and get your thoughts All in right. a minute. Okay. Uh, Morocco 1 nil over Ivory Coast, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, um, Group C. 74 minutes of football going to 75, mm. and then Togo 1 2 down to Congo DR. That's the result. Um, the games are live, the games are going on at the same time. Mm. And if it stays this way, the defending champions will be waving the tournament goodbye. Not the first time a defending champion will be doing that. Um, and then Congo DR will be topping that group. I mean, I was listening to you and you were talking about the pattern since Angola 2010 when Egypt won the Nations they Cup last the next against three. Ghana at the time. Now, they missed the last three. 2012, the next three. They missed the next three Nations Cup. Yeah. Now, 2012, Zambia somehow shocked the world by winning the African Cup of Nations. And the next year... The they next did two not, editions, they the didn't next, go beyond the group. They didn't even go beyond the group. The and next they year, the they were edition. even out. Now, Nigeria won the one of 2013, and I've, I've missed this last two. Last two. Now, this is the second one. Now, we will, we will, the way Cote d'Ivoire is going. And the way Cote d'Ivoire is going... They will not team. qualify from the group. I mean, you, you, you look at... <laughs> so, like, do you really want to be a champion? Well, honestly speaking... <laughs> of that, course, you want that, to be. That, that, that is a hallmark of the African Cup of Nations. Mm. I mean, a whole lot of people are saying that it's not interesting, does not live up to expectation and all that. But these are some of those things that are actually giving the African Cup of Nations a good publicity for the fact that you won the African Cup of Nations this year does not mean you're going to win it in the or other qualify. edition. Or even, even qualify. qualify for the other edition. So, I mean, that... Just it. I mean, you just have to see the goal that Junior uh, Kabananga. Kabananga scored. I mean, that goal was awesome. And of course, Femi Mumbele in Dombu actually, you know, complimented it. But then Togo are really playing as if they want something out of that game. And that is why Kojulamba actually scored that goal and is looking as if Togo is going to get another one. The game between Morocco, Cote d'Ivoire, and to end of any of the two would have actually picked up. Uh, or scored the first goal, but it had to be Morocco that scored. And Morocco have all but cemented their place into the last eight. So let us see how There's it goes. There's still a lot of time, mm. a lot of game, a lot of minutes to be played. Morocco we actually have, needs a draw. We, mm -hmm. have, we have over 10 minutes of football left in both games. Um, and that's a long time in football. Uh, I'm sure you understand what I mean. Mm. Uh, there's a long time in football. So let's see if the elephants can claw back. Uh, if uh, they can uh, find the results and somehow uh, stay on uh, in the competition. But at the moment, it's not looking good at all. Let's go quickly now and spend the, a lot of time to talk about tomorrow, match day four. Um, Nigerian football um, is alive, is kicking, is well. And for us, the league um, is a sign uh, of the fact that, that our football can even be better than it is at the moment. Let me run through uh, some of the fixtures for you. March day four across centers in Nigeria tomorrow. Ten centers. Shooting starts in Ibadan. We'll be hosting MFM. That's a big Southwest Derby uh, on your hands. And then we have Lobby Stars. They'll be hosting ABS. That's two teams in the middle belt. That's like a middle belt um, matchup uh, for you. FC Fan Yuba will be facing Rivers United. Uh, two teams that will be playing on the continent. is a continental uh, showpiece, that one. Two teams, one on the CAF Confederations Cup, the other in the CAF Champions League. So you can have a taste of continental football uh, at uh, the Newi ground of FC Fanyuba. Tornadoes of Mina will be hosting Wiki Torres of Bauchi in Lokoja. That's where the game will be played. Uh, Aqua United will be hosting Rangers International. Last season, that goal, that game produced a 3-2 away win for Rangers. Mm. Can they do it again? Uh, we'll find out. And then you have El Kanemi against Katsina United. That's a massive uh, derby in the north. And then you have uh, uh, Nasarawa United hosting Remo Stars. You have the Abia Derby. Yeah. In Umahia. Abia Warriors against Enyimba. Mm. What a game that will be. Then you have uh, um, Gombe United will be hosting Plateau United. That's also good. A big game up north. And then you have uh, Sh uh, Sunshine Stars. They'll be welcoming uh, the, the same Sugida. The owners of the land, mm. Kano Pillars uh, in Akure. Last season, Pillars ran away with an away win um, at Akure against Sunshine. But can it happen again? Mm. Well, talk to us where 
are the away victories coming from on March Day 4? What do you anticipate? But these are all sumptuous, mouth-watering, delicious games lined mm. up for us. You, mean? you wish you had the powers to watch all of these games at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do that. <laughs> but it's a wish. Um, sunshine uh, and pillars. On paper, it looks good. I'm very sure it's going to be pleasing to the high. If, if you ever get the opportunity uh, to see those games, um, a lot of people are not talking about NFM away because <laughs> <laughs> there's a trend that seems to be happening these days, so we don't understand. But I still think it's going to be a good game. Um, you don't put four goals past your opponent and not have... There must be something about mm. you. So I won't be totally discounting uh, MFM when they play away. Um, and um, so ma many interesting games uh, for me. Um, I'm also looking at th that game that involved two teams that were representing uh, Nigeria uh, on the continent. Uh, to, you about Rivers United. Yeah, it would be a way to quickly know what to expect uh, from those teams, how far, you know, probably they can go uh, in, in, in the tournament. I, I think I'll be looking out... Uh, for that one, but uh, Sunshine Stars Caterpillars, you know, you know, really jumps at me, and um, I'll, I'll do what I can to uh, see that game or get information from that game. And it's good now that you can follow on Twitter. Uh, we must commend the LMC, mm -hmm. um, the whoever is handling. What they you do can get live media. updates. Yes. And a lot of the clubs also and on their Twitter handles. They actually do that. They give you live updates. But whoever so whoever yeah. is in charge. Yeah, but if you are, if you are finding it difficult to keep track of all the clubs at the same time, just follow the league management company's Twitter yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, you'll yeah. get the live updates mm. from all the, the venues. Scorers, yeah. The goals, the minutes, the whatever stories, the, the drama. Game, drama around the game. Mm. Uh, I, I think that, that, that would be a way to you know, monitor. In the Southwest, it's shooting stars against MFM. Yeah. Last season, shooting were truly rampant. Three nil winners they were. I mean, they uh, won. They, 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 they won the boat legs. I mean, one zero yeah. at the Agege Stadium. Even though the second leg was a bit um, well, controversial. Well, well, some controversial controversies and all that. But then they won that. But MFM, they are not particularly good travelers when it comes to the Nigeria professional football. This season, this season, I mean, they have considered four goals already away. Um, so uh, they want to uh, try as much as possible to um, probably go there, get a point. I've always said it, and I said it last week on this show that. Um, this is the right time where away teams can actually, you know, get maximum Pick up your points, points quickly exactly, in the quickly. season. And, that, and, and that be just settled. Settle down. And yes. be settled, yeah. And before things settle down. So let's just see how that one go. Uh, shooting stars are right, uh, right now are scoring, uh, are, are doing well, scoring goals. Maybe not particularly fantastic, but they're actually good. I mean, you need to see their game in the, uh, uh, in, uh, in the, uh, against Kanu Pillars in Kanu. I mean, that was a game that shooting stars would have just taken, but somehow Kanu just came back. And in the diamond, they scored. Another game I would like to look at is that Umoya Derby. I mean, the Abia Derby. Well, when you look at it, and technically, Mayimba um, are the waiting because they are playing in Calabar, but then they are owned by the uh, Abia State government, and that is a huge game. In Umoya, whenever both of them are playing, whether they're playing in Aba or they're playing in Calabar or wherever, it is usually a very, very tough one. So I would like to see that one. I would like to see what happens there. I'm not supporting anymore because I'm from Abia State because I actually like Abia Warriors. I follow Ayimba since when they won the Champions League in 2003. So I feel that um, the best side should be. But Ayimba last season actually tried as much as possible to pick up uh, maximum points away against Abia Warriors in Umoya. So let's just see how it goes. And that game, Rangers going away. I mean, Chisum uh, 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 is back. back. Is back in but this we, don't, one. we don't know whether it's going to be well, uh, available for Rangers in that game. Maybe but it's, it's a good game. It's a, it's a good, it's a good uh, game. And and Uyo, the pitch is excellent. Excellent. Top quality pitch. Exactly. Friendly, and, to and friendly to the friendly eye. Friendly to the eye. That's and, the thing. And that's the kind of pitch where Rangers <laughs> like to play football. Rangers like to play football on that. And I just and the Rangers need to start picking up points. I mean, four points for the defending champion. It's pretty much not the kind of um, thing they want to... Um, not the dream uh, start. For, no, no, for not the dream start. But, so they can always try as much as possible to pick up and where else can you pick up maximum points if not at the uh, nest of champions where you play good football against an Aqua United side that actually plays good football as well. So let us see how it goes. I mean, this uh, uh, um, uh, match day four is interesting pace. And if you're going to ask me where the away girl, I mean, the way uh, 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 
the way win will come from. I think I'll be looking at Umoye. I think Ayimba can be able to fancy their chances, even if Abia Warriors mm. are actually very good this time around. But they can be able to fancy their chances. And maybe, maybe Rangers can be able to pick up something um, against Aqua United in um, MUU. All right, let, let's, let, let me go very quickly to uh, some of your uh, feedback. Uh, but as uh, we do that, let me update you that uh, Congo DR has scored yet another goal. Wow. Uh, so I think it's uh, looking settled. At this point. Uh, now at this point. At this point, Jack um, over. Togo, we need to score um, four, four more goals, goals. Uh, to have any chance of, uh, of uh, qualifying, mm -hmm. uh, mathematical, uh, chance. mathematical chance of qualifying. All right. Uh, but Morocco are still holding on to the one nil lead. And believe it or not, um, it is the elephant gasping for breath now. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to produce something within the two last goals. 10 minutes. Uh, and if they, two goals. they have to produce two goals, and it's getting more difficult by the minute. All right, let's get back to um, your comments now, your feedback on Twitter. Our good friend, Ola Yinka um, Owulewa, who is uh, with ABS, uh, says uh, ABS FC um, is fully ready for Luby Stars tomorrow. The team is in Makodi for the three points. The Saraki boys are hungry for success. That's what it says. Uh, so we wait to see if um, uh, an away win will be coming from Makodi. Uh, Luby is not exactly very generous yeah, at mm -hmm. all. So that's, that's uh, going to be a tough, tough uh, ask uh, for, for ABS. Um, Okoye, Okoye Timothy at uh, Lampi underscore junior says, with the performance of Congo DR so far in this um, hashtag AFCON 2017, I'm tipping them to go through to the final and even win it. He's sending in his tweet from uh, Ogijo, um, but you know a lot, of con a lot of teams will decide, have a role to play in, um, in uh, that assertion. Ghana. Uh, Tunisia, uh, Senegal, Cameroon, uh, we have a lot to say about mm -hmm. whether Congo will just stroll through um, to um, winning the cup. Ibrahim Zana uh, also says uh, Plateau United will be consolidating their leadership and he sees Plateau United picking an away win in Gombe uh, against um, Gombe United. All right, well, let, let's see. Um, they've already picked an away win this season. Who knows? They may do it again. And this is the uh, time to do that. And this Best is the time, time to, to do it. All right. So that, those are some of your comments on, on Twitter. Keep them coming. Uh, uh, we'll be reading them out for everyone to see. Guys, um, let, let's just quickly um, take you to Melbourne. Let's bring you highlights from Australia Open. When we return, uh, we'll be spending the rest of the time to talk about uh, um, the top guys, the business end of the first Grand Slam. Some guys are going down under. Some are staying up. We'll give you all the details after this timeout. <laughs> 